Robot bees are creating a buzz. Scientists in Japan have built a robot bee designed to help ease the burden of pollination duties amid a dwindling bee population. The robot bee is a tiny drone covered in horse hair that mimics the fuzzy body of a real bee and coated with an ionic liquid gel. In laboratory conditions, the remotely controlled drone has successfully absorbed pollen from a lily petal and artificially pollinated a second flower. Scientists do not think robot bees can replace real bees, but see them as a supplementary aid for pollination, which is essential for growing many crops. YouTube's ad policies are killing creators, but you can help. Be a hero at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Bees are an integral part of a healthy ecosystem. Keep watching to find out more. Obama unveils plan to save honeybees from extinction. On Tuesday, the Obama administration unveiled a strategy intended to stop beehive colony collapse in the United States. Bees pollinate much of the agricultural food we eat, but 40% of commercial honeybee colonies died off last winter, putting our food supply at risk. The White House's plan to be carried out by the USDA and EPA includes devoting 7 million acres of federal land to pollinator habitat, reducing annual honeybee deaths to 15% by 2025, and returning monarch butterfly numbers from 30 million to 220 million in five years. The plan also calls for more studies of the class of pesticides known as neonicotinoids, which kill pests but might also weaken bee immune systems. Weaker bees are more easily killed by invasive varroa destructor mites and poor nutrition from monocultural farming practices. Critics of the plan say it focuses too narrowly on commercial honeybees out of 4,000 bee species in North America and that there is no specific action plan to increase butterfly numbers. Finally, some insist neonic pesticides should be banned immediately, though Australia, which is free of varroa mites, uses neonics yet has avoided colony collapse. Are bees going extinct? Reports show high rate of U.S. bee deaths. Annual surveys have shown a trend in bee deaths in America. The Bee Informed Partnership has released its annual survey of the national health of bees in America, and yet again, the number of colonies is shrinking. The Bee Informed Partnership collected data from 5,700 beekeepers across 48 states for its annual survey, and found that from April 2015 to April 2016, American beekeepers have lost 44% of their hives. Losses in summer 2015, a season bees are known to thrive in, increased to 28.1% of hives, the same rate of loss for winter the same year. A culprit in the bee losses is the varroa mite, a lethal parasite that can easily spread between colonies. Pesticides and malnutrition caused by single flower farms near hives are also likely taking a toll, especially among commercial beekeepers. Bees pollinate fruit, nuts, and vegetables with some crops entirely dependent on honeybees. Around the world, bees and other pollinators are responsible for 35% of crops worth an incredible $577 billion. The White House reported that honeybees contribute more than $15 billion to the U.S. economy annually. Hawaiian bees getting a helping hand from Uncle Sam. The U.S. government has added seven species of Hawaiian bee to the endangered species list. They are the first U.S. bee species to be protected under the Endangered Species Act. The seven endangered species of bees live in many habitats on the Hawaiian islands, including coastlines, wet and dry forests, and shrublands. Bees are vital to human beings as they are one of the world's major pollinators. Without bees pollinating, about 30% of the world's crops and 90% of wild plants would die. Bees are dying at an alarming rate on the mainland of the U.S. as well, with 20 to 40 percent of honeybee colonies disappearing every winter. Hawaiian yellow-faced bees are threatened by urbanization, fire, wild animals such as pigs and invasive ants, and plant species. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said the decision came after years of research. The new rule is effective on October 31st. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News.